Mr. Bharatram, uh, you know, you of course had 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 a tragedy in the family. Uh, you know, when uh, uh, Manju Bharatram, uh, one of the one of the country's best known uh, and leading educationists, actually passed away thanks to cancer. Uh, was that one of the factors that really in, uh, caused you to start CAPED? Where you're really in CAPED looking at prevention and early detection, uh, but you know th that that tragedy must have really also spurred you to this. Uh, yes, Vikram, uh, that was uh, uh, one of the major reasons for my involvement in cancer prevention. And uh, I just want to share with your viewers that, um, you know, uh, cancer is something which is uh, very often in, in Indian society looked at as uh, a disease where the patient becomes a pariah. And... Uh, it's important for us in our culture to understand that if you have got cancer, that it should be treated with sympathy and it should be treated with uh, a, a sense of uh, 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 having bad luck and in, in getting cancer. So uh, this is my first message to uh, people who are viewing uh, your program, that do not in any way... Uh, look at somebody getting cancer as having had uh, bad karmas or uh, or have had uh, you know uh, some kind of a history which uh, uh, led them to get cancer so this is my first message now coming to uh, 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 caped which is something that uh, a few of us started in delhi this is uh, a short for cancer awareness and prevention and early detection. Uh, and we are focusing largely on cervical cancer. Uh, it, it's not very well known that uh, cervical cancer affects young girls to middle-aged uh, women much more than even breast cancer does. And uh, the, the fact that this is not uh, known widely, in particularly in India, is uh, unfortunate because this is a very, very treatable disease. And I would like uh, my colleague in CAPED, uh, Mridu Gupta, to uh, talk a little bit about what we are doing in CAPED and how we are trying to prevent uh, uh, cervical can cancer. Yeah. Mridu? Yeah. Hi, Vikram. So, uh, CAPED, as the name says, it stands for Prevention and Early Detection of Cancer, and we are trying to spread awareness of this prevention. Cervical cancer, India is the single largest contributor to cervical cancer deaths in the world. One-fourth of the world's cervical cancer deaths come from India. And it is a needless waste of life because it is the most easily detectable and most easily preventable cancer. In fact, since you are doing children's cancers, there is a vaccine available for girls from the age of 11. 70% um, of cervical cancer is caused by a viral infection, the HPV. It's a virus infection. And the FDA clears the vaccine for administration from the age of 11 to 45 years of age. So if children were to take it at that age, they would be protected it's efficient against almost 70% of cervical cancers. It's that easy to prevent. Other than that, of course, you have the pap smear that must be taken once um, after the onset of sexual activity. And um, all you need to do is get a pap smear done, and along with that, an HPV DNA test done. And then you, if both the tests are clear, you're clear for four years. So that's once in five years you need to get a test done Right. And you are 100% cervical cancer free. And so, yet we lose so many women. One woman every eight minutes we lose to cervical cancer in our country. Right. So the, the fact that there's a vaccine uh, for this is something which is obviously a, a very major, is something which is very major. But Mr. Bharatram, you know, if you come back to the real problem in a place like India about early detection, the cost of these things is very high. How many people can actually afford to go in for things like screening or testing, it becomes a big, big concern. So to be able to get low-cost detection or find ways that, that they can be more low-cost, I, I believe in some parts of, of Ethiopia and even in parts of India, things like you know, vinegar swabs can be sometimes used to get some sort of detection done. 
Uh, is, is that one of the ways to go? If we can bring the cost of detection down a lot, then maybe it makes it much simpler for people to be able to find out uh, what's happening. Um, Vikram, there's no doubt that uh, uh, tests must be devised, uh, uh, which are uh, relatively inexpensive, and they can be done very easily by even uh, less qualified uh, doctors, even by um, physicians, uh, so that uh, one doesn't have to uh, spend a lot of money going to a hospital to get these tests done, even in, let's say, primary health centers, etc. So we do need to bring down the cost. And I, I think there is enough technology, there, is enough, there are enough scientists in India and elsewhere in the world who can actually drive the costs down. And this is one of the things that I, I hope that we will be able to do with the kind of support that we are now seeing for uh, prevention of cancer. I, I would just like to add uh, one thing that Mridu said because I think it's important to understand this from the context of India. In the United States, there are virtually no more women who get cervical cancer because every child from the age of 11 onwards is, is inoculated against cervical cancer. So the incidence of cervical cancer is almost gone in the United States. Now, if we could just do this in India, uh, as just like we do polio treatment for children, if we were to just do inoculations for all young girls after puberty, I think we would uh, avoid the costs, we would avoid the heartbreak and heart um, felt uh, uh, problems that families have to go through, uh, uh, which would be uh, uh, something which is very easily done. So right. I, I would say that uh, we must become aware of this and we must make our people aware of this. All right, so something as simple as that, a vaccination that could actually prevent cervical cancer is something that we definitely need to keep in mind. Uh, uh, Mr. Bharat Ram, thank you so much, Midhu, for joining us uh, you know, with, with some of those thoughts and let's certainly hope to that um, vaccine. Uh, I, I would just, uh, 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 Vikram, sure. if, I may just, if I may just say that I would like to donate some, some uh, uh, money for the cause. So I will, be doing, I will be giving five lakhs for you. Please uh, put that into your account. Right. Mr. Bharat Ram, thank you so much for joining us with that. And, you know, I think the more and more people who come forward to try and help, especially with child cancer and people who can't afford it, that's, that's really great. Thank you so much, Mr. Bharatram.